and we are back for video number 9 on how to learn Inkscape and this time we're going to talk about the boolean operations. You'll find them on the path and I've got some prepared here. You can see original shapes at the top and we're going to apply these operations to each. So let us select the first union. So we've got a square and a circle here and we are going to unionize it. And you can see it makes it one shape. I'll select the bottom as well with a shift click. So it turns all of the selected shapes into one and makes it a union. The difference does the exact opposite. You just select both path difference. And now we've got a square which has a hole of the size of the circle. And at the bottom it becomes even more obvious what the difference means in this case. Here in the section it just leaves you the shape that's the overlap between all of the selected shapes. So at the bottom it gives us this small shape. It's so kind of like a quarter circle. Exclusion. It gives us absolutely nothing on top. And at the bottom it becomes obvious why. So let us select it. Path. Exclusion. And now you can see that the overlap is being uh, being erased when you've got these two objects that's what you get the division is kind of like the union at first but as you can see we've got two shapes so it looks at first like the union but it leaves us with the overlaps as a separate shape The cut path, we obviously need a path for that and it becomes more obvious if we use a stroke. So let me give it a blue stroke and I'll increase the stroke size a little bit. So I just held shift and clicked on a blue color to give these shapes the blue stroke. Now I'll select the top one. And I use the cut path. And it gives us a square in the top example and at the bottom it becomes even more obvious what we have here. So we've cut the square but it's also a cut. So where we had the overlap the path is cut and we've cut two path shapes. So as you can see it's kind of like the pathfinder tool if you know that. Especially from Illustrator. And this is how you can use these boolean operations in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.